I have a lot of welding to do. To be precise, I'm going to weld a lot of these uh, pie cuts, these uh, steel tubes together. And uh, I would like to have this uh, weld as smooth as possible. And it needs to be uh, sealed uh, because it's a uh, oxhaust to my motorcycle. And uh, I did one test. Oh, sorry for that. I did one test and um, nah, with my skills to get this uh, quite even and nice uh, all around, mm, not easy. So I thought I'd make a machine, a supporting machine to my welder. I will be using MIG welding for this. And um, yeah, as you can see, I have found a lot of pieces here and it all um, uh, is just uh, some kind of uh, turning system with this uh, handle and uh, using this uh, steel rod, old steel rod. And then, uh, yeah, using all of these uh, pieces, it will be easier for me just to do it and you will see it, how I'll make it and then you'll understand. Okay, let's get started. And then most of the pieces are cut, uh, polished and uh, welded and threaded and whatever. So let me do a quick assembly. This is the main middle piece and this is the axle, the steel rod. I've threaded both ends of it. And it goes inside of here and the threading doesn't go too far. So the 10 millimeter uh, axle here is just perfectly towards the holes in each end. So it's not too much bubbling here. So let me just uh, put on uh, uh, washers and nuts on each end. Like this. So this is the centerpiece and then I have the handle that goes on the end here. And then the crank is done. And I can put it in my vise. Nice, nice and easy. And the idea is then to create some uh, mounting mechanism here so I can attach my tube, steel tube that I want to weld and I can rotate this and uh, make a perfect weld without any interruption. I don't need to go step by step. I can have one seamless nice weld hopefully. Um, these two are missing now because actually I want to put this <clears throat> vice this way so I can have my welding table here which is made of steel and of course uh, my, <clears throat> my handle is touching the, 
the table here, so I would like to raise it. So, yeah, so having this uh, like uh, some feet makes me uh, give me some flexibility to mount this as high as I would like to. And uh, then I, when I have my, uh, my welding table here as a support when I'm doing the welding, then I can align it to the correct height. So let me then just uh, put on this. Yeah, and another thing here I thought about for this uh, on storage, when I'm done with it, let me take the handle off. What I can do is to just put it like this. And then it's nice and compact and I can put it on a, in a drawer or something without it taking up too much space. So I thought about a, a compact solution. Yeah, so let me then weld on this and then I want to do some test welding, see if this really works in real life. I haven't seen any examples of something similar like this, so maybe it doesn't really work. Let's see, let's uh, test it after I'm doing the final steps. And the turning machine, the crank turning welding support machine is done. The feet make me able to put this at a suitable height. And then the second thing I made was the adapter, which is made of a small tube uh, with the same diameter as the tube I will be welding. So it's a part of my exhaust. Welded on a nut there, tried to get it exactly at the center. And I also used my grinder to even out this, so it was not out of alignment. So I will try to weld these pieces together now. I have put two, uh, on two spot welds on this one, so I will try to do a complete weld around this uh, pipe. And then I would uh, like to attach it to the end here. So when I am turning, it will follow and I can just have the welder pointed at the same spot and I will be moving the material instead of the welding machine. I made this uh, um, clamp to hold it into place. So I will just use it uh, with a nut, but uh, the ground for the welding normally I have this one and I could have tried to attach it here but uh, the ground will then have to be going through this uh, outer shell uh, through the steel bar steel rod in the middle here and then over uh, it's a it's a lot of uh, attachments here before the ground is uh, where it should be so to be on the safe side I think I'll just 
take off the ground cable and just attach it to this clamp instead. And then I made me a, a, sorry, a nut tear so I don't need to use a wrench. We'll be taking this on and off a couple of times. So I will have this uh, attached like this and then attach the pipe I will be welding and then just uh, turning around here so let's see if I can get this to stick yeah just make sure that it's properly sealed soon there will be welding here test welding so now this will be turning I have also made this uh, support uh, handle bracket which I will be placing like this something like this I guess and then I can take my welder and put it here and I can I have some adjustments here so I can try to find the suitable distance and uh, this is now on 45 degree angle and then it's more or less just uh, pressing the button and turning this around and hopefully I will have a smooth and a nice uh, weld. Let's see if uh, it uh, works. I'm quite uh, excited now. Ooh. Let's hope this uh, works as I um, planned it to because uh, I will be doing I think around 20 of these welds and uh, this will speed up. I've spent quite some time building this, not too many hours but some hours but uh, I can maybe save uh, the, uh, the time on the welding process and maybe get better welds. So, one, two, three, let's test it. It worked. Mm -hmm. Cool. Quite happy with the result. Quite easy to get a perfect uh, weld. Well, I had a uh, small area here uh, where the weld is a bit thin. I went too fast. Also a small area where the weld is a bit thick where I went too slow. So finding the correct uh, turning speed uh, is um, essential. Some practice and I'll be there. I also uh, changed a bit how I put on the washers here. It was a bit, uh, I had uh, one area where it uh, like st stopped, need to put a lot more force. So now it's uh, a lot more smoother. Um, yeah, some small improvements. So I hope the next weld will be even better. Um, but the next weld, uh, that is a pie cut. That means that it's uh, angled on both sides. And the idea there is to make a bend out of the tube. And uh, of course then it needs a special adapter and I've prepared. So I actually used a pie cut for as a um, mounting uh, bracket. And um, this will then be put on, on the opposite way of the pie I'm going to weld on. And this hole to mount it is offset. And um, the reason for it quite uh, easy to understand when you can see it on here. I will attach it on exactly the same way as uh, previously, except then that uh, pi is opposite each other. And I will try to put this clamp in between here. And uh, hopefully now, if everything is done correct, I will put in my welder like this. And when I turn it around, this should work in the same way.
wow, I don't want to brag, but this is probably the best weld I have ever seen by anyone when it comes to a pie cut. That was bragging, wasn't it? At least it's my best uh, weld. And of course, it is a lot easier to get it perfect when you can align it like this and have support all the way. And just take a look at it. This last weld where I had these two pie cuts. Wow, isn't it uh, just a beauty? Perfect. I'm really satisfied with this machine. This will help me a lot when I'm gonna fabricate my exhaust and I have uh, all of these pie cuts I'm gonna weld. We're really looking forward to it. Also, I have some uh, bigger pipes as well, so I will make uh, more adapters that fit uh, all kind of dimensions as I go along. Yeah, I can really uh, highly recommend this. And uh, maybe you know about, maybe this is commercially available. Is it possible to buy something like this? Drop a comment below if you've seen something similar, if you know about it. Yeah, if not, very fast, some hours and you can build it from some uh, scrap metal you have laying around. Highly recommended.